Mm. Now you might be asking yourself, oh nerdy patootie, why did you oh wait, hold on. Why did you sand and try to make pretty the little bit where the threads are gonna be? Because it makes the threads kinda of shiny, at least parts of them. Huh? So this is also Okay, mix that pretty. Now, bum -ba -bum, watch. If everything, yeah. I'll take my die holder, one inch. Actually, I know you're thinking, God, this is boring, dang. Look at Newton sit there and just do whatever he's doing. Shoot. Here's a 10 millimeter round um, tap, I mean die. Here's my cheap Walmart Winchester gun cleaner. I use it to get the goop and the junk and the boogers out of there. And it seems to do a pretty good job. Put the numbers, they face the little, the, the part you're going to put things on. Threads, they're called threads, not things. And then I hold it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's good right there. Ah, okay. Hi. Okay. It's a lumen light, so it threads like super easy. If this was PR, it'd be going like this. A little bit, a little bit. Actually, I would have turned it a lot smaller. The tenon, I would have made it smaller than, that's probably like 9 millimeters. I probably would have made it like 8.8 .8 millimeters. That way, um, there's less chance of me breaking the threaded bit. Because I've broken a few of these turning... Uh, well, PR anyways. Now, something I don't do, because I think it just looks funny, it looks like a piece of grapefruit or orange stuck on the end of your section. I don't turn these threads right here off. Uh, I keep those there. What I do instead is I take, when I make my barrel, I thread the inside, I kill a couple of threads from the inside of the barrel. It makes things fit just fine in my opinion. And that's good. So anyways, yeah, yeah, so I'm an art teacher. I love being an art teacher. That's probably the most amazing job I personally could ever have as a human being. I can't imagine being any happier doing anything else. Now, a couple people have said, dude, you need to make pins full time. I'm like, yeah, I know. I like making pins. This is a lot of fun. Probably the most fun art that I've like ever experienced or made or you know that stuff when you do stuff um, but the thing is if I made it a full-time job it might stop being fun and then I wouldn't be able to give pins away and have to like charge people for them and I like to be able to give stuff away I'm kind of weird like that and I'm giving them to my kids and I'm like dude this is a really nice fountain pen you know and, and if you take care of it it'll last you the rest of your life and there the kids are like okay Newton whatever and I say no I'm serious da -da -da -da. Um, and they, they, you know, hopefully will appreciate it. So here we go. I'm going to cut it off, right? Yeah. Yeah, watch this. I'm going to make this part skinny, then I'm going to cut it off. I don't want to waste any of my section. And this whole thing is a straight 9 sixteenths. That is so, when I put it in my collet chuck, it won't wobble or be wonky. It'll fit nice and easy. And I'll show you something else. Guess I should pay better attention. Now I've had a few sections bounce off my lathe, ways, whatever it's called, the bed, the rails. So I put a piece of paper towel down there to absorb the fall. And it makes things nice. Notice I'm angling my tool so it doesn't go on to the part that I'm cutting. I don't want to cut my part up. Ah, it still fell on the floor. Now, 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 brown cow. I want this to be like perfectly straight in there. And if I just tighten it up, it might not be perfectly straight. So, what I figure I can do put my drill chuck. We're going to go with the, not that one, stupid, J-bit. Watch. 
this. Now, I've already drilled it with the J-bit, so I'm not going to make my hole bigger or wonky or anything. I'm not going to do anything to my hole. I'm going to put it on there nice and easy. I'm going to go where I want it to sit. I'm going to tighten this down. Now this is already centered. All I'm doing is putting the chuck. I just came up with this kind of by myself. I'm like some kind of genius. Not really. Um, maybe that's a little too tight, huh? There, there we go. And then we'll snug it. And that might be... I don't know. Maybe I'll ruin this section. But I've done this a few times and it does work. I swear it does. I promise it does. Really? Let's see, we have 21 minutes filmed. Holy crap, I've only got eight more minutes to do this. Hurry up, nudie. Neuter bug. Urgh. So my kids at school call me neuter, nudie, newton, rootin' tootin' pootin' newton. No, one of my old friends used to call me that. But whatever, I don't care about the nicknames. I think they're kind of fun. Hey, give me a break. My last name is Newton, after all. It's kind of hard to be serious with a name like that sometimes. Where I want it. Yeah, a little bit higher, probably. Uh, uh, yeah, right there. Forward. Mass. Right there. Okay, so that battery went dead. So my section is still in a 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter call it chuck thing, and we're about to drill out for the lip that goes around the edge of the section nib unit collar thing. Watch this. Where is it? Uh oh, here it is. No, no, no. All right, it'll go in so far. And it stops. Maybe I should drill deeper. But I can keep drilling and make the um what's it called? The collar fit and I don't know, hopefully all this will work out. Maybe I want to drill it a little deeper with the other drill bit. And then it'll be easy and I'll be done. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. So yes I'm crazy. Probably have to drill that out a little bit deeper. Okay, so you can't see it, but I put a little piece of clear vinyl hose on there to um, make a drill stop because the cedar wood is not good enough. So, vroom vroom, baby goes. What the crap was it? That was a watch. Not the camera this time. So, as she goes. There we go, just a tiny bit more, and you are perfect. Like this. Yeah, there we go. That way I don't goof them up. Just use my little rubber piece of tire. All it is is an inner tube from a bicycle that went and botted. And then use a little 8mm, right? Yep, 7mm. Seven millimeter. Turn it nice and easy. This way, my nib unit goes in easier. This goes over right here. That goes in my hand. Now there's a section. You might say, "Hey, that's a finished section." Well, no, it's not. All right, it's almost finished. Have to make it pretty now. First, let's make sure it's not a waste of time. 
And that mother of Nibia in it, really, you know. <gasps> nice and easy, that's so much easier. And then it snugs down. Yeah, a little bit too much is sticking out. Too much black lip. On this one, I'll live with it. I need to go up with another millimeter, a half a millimeter in my drill bits. So, now that we got that mostly more or less satisfactory. Now, this is something else someone was asking me about. The J bit that I used to drill the whole thing out also allows a nice snug fit for the um, for that thing, the converter. Alright, and I just pop it out. Now, the thing about this is, and Richard Bender said this, these don't need to come in and out every time you clean the pin. Basically, once you put a pin together, that's it, you leave it together. Because the more times you take, it's only a $5 part, $3, depending on where you get it. The more times you take it off and put it on, the more wear and tear there's going to, uh, the more wear and tear you're going to put on this and the nipple in there. The more wear and tear on those two pieces, air can get in there, ink will leak out. You'll have a leaky, messy pin. It'll either come in, out the nib or you'll have a mess when you take the barrel off, um, which you don't want. But, um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, so now let me do the other part. This is going to be a long, stinking video. Holy cow. Y'all are going to be so bored. Everyone at home is going to be like, dang, Nudie's long-winded. Super duper long-winded. He's so long-winded that even the wind thinks he's boring. No, that was lame. Anyways, I want to put my live center back on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm getting there, I swear. There we go. Put my live center in the hole on the tail stock. And then I'm going to put this in a holder thingy that I saw on TV one time. And I'll tell you where I goofed up. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Yep. Oops. How do you make it nice and centered? You stick it way out here like this in the live center. And I hold it this way as I tighten this down. Now what are you doing here, Nuri? I am going to turn... Ah! Don't do that, that's stupid. Turn that roundish lead. I'm not going to use my wood chuck chuck lathe tool carbon thing face mask. Mm.
Ta-da! There's a section. There's a section. There's a section. Section, section. There's the section. There's a section. And my lady, I'm going to turn it down low and do this. Clean it out. Dun, 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 dun. I keep my laid bed dry now, like no lube or oil or anything, because it seems to help things move around better. Uh, for a while, I was going with lubricant. That didn't really help that much. So, and I might get this a little dirty just dealing with it, which is okay because I'm going to give it a bath before it gets a new home anyhow. Now this is not a good nib. This is just a nib unit I use to test for fit. And there you go. Nice and